evening. I am Andy Four from the OG Network and this is Breaking News. We are reporting about a close call in the Australian outback as a potential battery explosion occurred in a shed leading to an almost fatal accident. The incident occurred due to a fault in a Chinese electronic, a so-called battery management system. More on this story from our correspondent Andy Three who is on site in Australia right now. Good morning Andy Three. It is early in Australia. What can you tell us about the incident? Thank you Andy Four. I'm here in front of the off-grid garage workshop in the Australian outback where an almost fatal incident occurred last night. The owner a good-looking and experienced electrical engineer from Germany had received multiple calls and disturbing information from members of the public that a certain electronic device made in China has safety defects which almost led to a huge explosion in the shed behind me. We have asked the technical assistant what he saw last night. Howdy! Yeah, I'm working here in the off-grid garage as a technical assistant for the last three years. You know, I've never seen such scary and terrifying shit as last night. Believe me, I've seen a lot of crappy products being tested in this shed here, but... But this last night was next level f***ing bullshit. And this all from a company which we've bought equipment before. I'm just glad we are still alive. I'll just go and grab another beer. Do you want one too or what? Ah, uh, it's a uh, quarter past seven in the morning. Um, nah, I'm good. I'm fine. Thanks. This morning we had the chance to talk to Andy exclusively. He's the owner of the off-grid garage and thanks to his fast reaction, he prevented further escalation of the situation. Listen what he had to say. Yeah, so I'm still a bit shocked what I have experienced last night. I'm working in the field of solar and battery for a very long time and we have tested hundreds of products and batteries here in the off-grid garage. Every battery has got its own battery management system. An electronic which monitors all the individual cells inside this battery here and turns off the whole system if there is a problem. So this electronic monitors voltage, current and temperature for example and if any of these settings go out of specs it disconnects the battery. So the BMS is the safety device in this battery and the last resort of preventing the unthinkable. You can think about it like a circuit breaker in the switchboard of your house. If you have an electrical fault, it turns off the circuit. And depending on what kind of cells you have in this battery, the BMS needs to be programmed accordingly to match this battery chemistry and keep the battery and equipment safe. Now, Thanks to some of the viewers of my channel who made me aware of the problem with this new JK Inverter BMS. I have tested exactly this in the last couple of days to confirm the issue. Now this BMS is all working good and well until you turn it off for a while, uh, a few days. Many users of such batteries have cabins in the wild or a boat and they turn off the whole system if they are away for a few days. So, and after returning and turning on your system again, you would expect everything would work the same as it did before you left and turned everything off. But unfortunately, this newly developed BMS from G Kong in China does not play the game. If it has been turned off for a while, it resets all the settings to unsafe values for your battery. The user would not know at the beginning until a fault occurs and the batteries could be damaged or even worse, catching fire because they are heavily overcharged. So here's just a quick example. The cells in this battery here can be charged to 3.65 volts at the maximum. However, the BMS, when it resets to factory default settings after a few days of being turned off, will allow these cells to charge to 4.2 volts. And this is very, very dangerous. This is like bypassing your circuit breaker in your house or replacing it with the wrong size. It will all work until a fault occurs and the circuit does not turn off anymore. This is a major safety bug in the design of this BMS. Look, we have worked with this company from China for a while and had our ups and downs with this new developed BMS. At the moment it is off the table and nobody should use it until this is fixed. 
ABMS should not forget the settings, regardless how long it is being turned off. This is a major safety hazard and a big concern. And I cannot thank my viewers enough for making me aware of this problem. And unfortunately, I can only confirm that this problem exists across all of their new developed BMSs, 100, 150 and 200 amps, regardless of the firmware version they are running. And if this is now just a software problem or the hardware needs to be redesigned so the BMS memorizes the settings, I don't know. We have informed the manufacturer about this issue. Thank you, Andy, for this interview. Thank you, Andy3. And so far, this exclusive news from the Outback here in sunny, hot Australia about a defect in a battery safety device. Back to the studio. Andy4. An unbelievable story. Thanks for this breaking news, Andy3. And stay charged and safe down there. Yeah, guys, as funny as it was to watch and make this video here for you, the cause for making this video is rather serious. So with forgetting and resetting all the settings to factory default, the JK Inverter BMS has a major safety issue at the moment. And until this is fixed and tested, I would not recommend using this BMS. So resetting to factory default after a couple of days being turned off means it chooses the lithium ion battery profile as the default battery profile in the BMS. And this is why we can see an over voltage protection of 4.2 volts per cell. As nice as it is that this BMS has now the charging algorithm and, and works quite well with most of the inverters, the safety features have highest priority. We have tested many BMSs here in the off garage and none of them has reset to factory default after disconnecting from the battery or turning it off. So I'm not sure how to go from here because this major safety concern I have now, who tells us the BMS is not resetting to these unsafe values during normal operation? So please stay very safe out there if you have these new JK inverter BMSs. Check the settings from time to time, make sure they are still as you set them and they have not reset to lithium ion and allows the battery to charge to 4.2 volts because I assume most of us are using lithium ion phosphate batteries and charging them to 4.2 volts. It's not good. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all your support here on the channel. And thanks to all these wonderful people who are sharing this information in the comment section of the videos in the community area of this YouTube channel. So thank you very much for spreading the word and making everyone aware of this issue. Until the next video, guys, when we finally swap the BMSs in the battery shelf and, and using the Peter boards to connect all BMSs to the Victron system. And I'm really looking forward to using these much safer Peter boards now because they don't have this issue. They are not resetting to any unsafe values. They just keep whatever you have set in the beginning. And until then, guys, you stay charged and stay very safe out there. Thanks for watching again. See you then. Bye bye. JK. What are you doing? What are you doing?